All right, this is our last axiom, which is called decisiveness. Uh, it's simple, election should result in a clear-cut winner. There should be one and only one winner, all right? Mathematically, that means for any y subset of x and for any preference profile u over the set of uh, uh, preference domain u, the, the winner f u i, u y, is, a, I'm sorry, the voting rule f uh, is a single valued function, not a correspondence. If you remember, some voting rules that we discussed are correspondence, meaning sometimes they lead to multiple alternatives. Well, but the thing is, uh, we can always slightly modify those rules by assuming some tie-breaking rules. Remember, for example, uh, if uh, more than one alternative is the winner, well, then we are going to break the tie uh, with some randomization, you know, with equal probabilities, for example. If the probabilities are not equal, well, because then it is going to violate neutrality, all right? Um, or some other tie-breaking rule, how so, for example, we are going to randomly ask one of the voters, uh, you know, uh, which one of those two winners you would like to select for example. Okay, so with some tie-breaking rules, we can actually modify some of the voting rules and, and make them uh, uh, sort of single-valued. So again, uh, decisiveness is a very mild assumption. Obviously, there are very uh, intuitive and, and highly used uh, uh, voting rules which do not satisfy decisiveness, but again, it's not a very strong assumption nevertheless, okay?